spelled R-Y-A-N. Last name is Y-O-U-N-G. Also on my right is L.D. Maples. He's the chief of the Coastal Division of the California Highway Patrol. First name is spelled L.D. Last name Maples, M-A-P-L-E-S. So right now I'm going to hand it over to Sheriff Dean to give you the latest. Good morning. You're all experienced reporters and you understand this is dynamic, ongoing investigation and a tragic, tragic situation. So uh, I'll go through the details. I'll share with you everything I have and we'll answer all the questions you may have. Our partners from the FBI and Highway Patrol will also answer any additional questions you might have. Tonight at 11.20 p.m., Sheriff Sinaman 1 received multiple calls of shots being fired at the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks. Our first sheriff's unit arrived on scene three minutes later. There was also two higher patrol officers on scene who had been on a local traffic stop and heard the traffic and responded right away. Approximately three minutes later, a higher patrol officer and a sheriff sergeant made entry into the borderline because they heard shots being fired and felt there might be additional victims inside. Upon going through the front door, the sheriff sergeant was struck multiple times with gunfire. The high patrol officer stepped back and secured the perimeter until additional units arrived and he rescued the sheriff sergeant out of the line of gunfire. When additional units arrived, including SWAT personnel, agencies from the Oxnard Police Department, the Simi Valley Police Department, the Ventura Police Department, and additional officers from the Ohio Patrol, they made entry into the borderline bar and grill. They found 11 victims that had been killed. The suspect, who we believe is, was the only suspect, was dead inside. And there were multiple other victims of different levels of injury inside that were rescued from the scene and taken to local hospitals. In addition to the victims inside, and the numbers are upwards of 10 to 12, additional victims with minor injuries fled the scene on their own and took themselves to local hospitals. We have not identified the suspect yet. Our partners from the FBI were on scene almost immediately uh, to help us with the identification process and with crime scene processing. We have no idea if there is a terrorism link to this event or not. As you know, these are ongoing investigations and that information will come out as soon as we're able to determine exactly who the suspect was and what motive he might have had for this horrific event. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have.